Hi, welcome to EasySSH tutorial series. In this series, we'll help you get started with EasySSH. As always, if you prefer the text version, the link to our documentation is in the description down below. In today's video, we're going to look at creating a hybrid policy. So EasySSH allows you to access endpoints in two different ways. There is the Azure policies that will automatically read your Azure endpoints, and you can even auto add easy SSH to those endpoints, or you can have a hybrid that can be multi-cloud or it can be on-premises. So today we're going to do hybrid policies. If you want to check out the Azure policies tutorial, make sure to check out that video. So first we have to go to hybrid policies and here we're going to click create new policy. First is the name. So for example, in this case, we're just going to set it to AWS East US policy notification email. This is the email that you'll get any notifications of like this was created, this was modified or anything, plus all the owners will get it as well. So in here, we're just gonna put it to our awesome engineers at ketos.io, and then owners. For owners, in this case, I'm just gonna do me and the group of good looking engineers. And then here are the endpoints. The endpoints are used for when you SSH, we know what certificate to give you. So in here you have to add all the endpoints that your policy would give you access to. So for example, in here you could have from internal IP addresses to even domains or external IP addresses as well. So then you have kind of like the access policy, you can have multiple access policies within one policy. So this might be, for example, to get root access, or you can have it that it gives you access to certain things or certain engineers. So in here, let's just say root for engineers, and then the maximum length of certificates. So certificates can be from one hour up until whatever you set it. And we actually cap it at one week. One week is the max hours that you can request. And so let's just say you want it to be eight hours. Then the Linux principle that you would be using to log in. So let's say we're going to do root. And this is just for when we create the scripts for you. We want, we, we like to know if it's a pseudo user or not. And then here you can do notes. So like this is for your engineers to know. So maybe you say use this for admin and you could add as many as you want and then it allows you to have auto approved objects so this is anybody that is part of this groups or any service principal or you can even allocate it to a specific user will have automatic access they don't have to get approved by anybody so like in here you might want to put your on-call engineer so like if you have a aad group for your on-call engineer or anything they will get right access into it no need for someone else to approve if you want to set up manual approvers as well you could set it up here First, you have to add who would be able to approve. So like you might wanna add your group of engineers or someone else, and then who would have access to it. So if you're a small company, that might be the rest of the company, or it might be your extended team. So in here you can add manually and auto approved. It's not either or, you, you can have both or just one and we'll check where that user lands and we'll give the appropriate access. If it's manual approved, it will go to the prover. Once it's approved, the user will be able to log in. So after that, you add the access policy. And as I said, you could add as many as you want. So you, you could actually add another one and have other users here, like other Linux principles, and you might have another objects or anything. So once you have it all set up and it all looks good, you just click create policy. Once the policy is created, we actually create scripts for you. So if you're using any cloud provider, you have the cloud init that we give you for any distro. So you'll be able to download this and add it into your Terraform or any way that you deploy to new VMs. And for existing VMs, we actually create a bash that you can run that will actually go through and add the, the certificate and create the users. If you already, well, we'll check if you have the users. If you don't, it'll go ahead and add them and create them and add them to the specific groups. And then it'll restart SSH. You can either use this script as is or just modify it. Actually, in our documentation, we go line by line by what this script does. So make sure to check that out if you want to modify it. So that's how you create a hybrid policy. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.